TFNN Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from Delray Beach, Florida. Hope you're having a great Wednesday. This is the 12, uh, this is 1 p.m. update. Currently, we have the Dow trading down 15 points. 27.009 is the print. S&P's off 7, NASDAQ off 33. Russell 2000 is mean and green. It's up three points, trading out at 15.26. Uh, transports are up 80 points, about three quarters of a percent. The other indices are to the downside. Spot volatility is still well below its 50 day exponential moving average. It's trading out at 13. Gold's up nine bucks, silver three pennies. Light sweet crude is up 74 cents. If we take a look at the S&P 500, let's, well, let's start with the Dow. Let's start with the Dow. If we take a look at the daily chart for the Dow, what we can see here on uh, Stevie's charts is price is trading in between support. Price found support. That's that red horizontal line. That is where price broke out in the Dow, that level, the most recent breakout, I should say. That was at 25,978. That level was tested on October the 4th. That held. Now price is above Stevie's green line, and the price is very likely targeting its resistance area, 27,272 or 27,281. Significant resistance resides up there, but that is where the Dow is targeting. If we take a look at the S&P 500, here's where we're going to see. We're going to see that support held, the breakout support level. That is the red horizontal line. We don't have a resistance area, a breakdown resistance area like we do in the Dow. So the Dow is going to be one of the indices that we're really going to track to try to understand if the market is going to be able to break out of its consolidation. Now, I know you might say, what do you mean consolidation? If we take a look at the bigger picture here, the Dow Dow in the left-hand side, the S&P in the upper right hand, the NASDAQ in the lower left, the Russell in the lower right. What we can see here is the market has been in this long-term consolidation. Really, it began taking us back into the January 2018 time frame. Yes, price is trading above that high, which is 26,616 in the Dow. But really, the trend line that would need to be broken in order for there to be a, uh, in order for, for us to consider this to be a real breakout out here, is just simply using a trend line from the high of January in 2018 the high in October of 2018. Price was contained both in July of 2019 as well as September 2019. So you and I know that that is a significant line of resistance out there. Stay tuned for the next hour. This guy is coming up next, and we're going to take a look at the S&P 500 and the Spot Volatility Index. It's signaling to you and I, be careful. The breakout is not ready. The party is not ready to start, but we're going to party from 1 to 2, so join us. Have a terrific uh, Wednesday. I look forward to seeing you soon.